them rocks it's like the height ratio between you know moving and this and that and moving and stuff it nah. i was too tall for that shit but i made it i made it so today is my birthday and um i decided to do a reiki healing today and I went back and forth with it. Like it wasn't just, you know, whether I wanted to do it or not. I definitely didn't want to do it. But the thing about it is, it's all the way back in Sedona. So I'm going to have to drive another two hours to Sedona, just like I did on Monday. But I mean, it kind of works out because at least I had a day in between. I would hate it if I went to Sedona for that tour and then had to go back to Sedona for this Reiki thing. I probably wouldn't have done it. And that would have been something I probably should have planned on. Probably just should have stayed out there. But anyway. Glad there was a day in between. So yeah, that's what I'm getting ready for to go to this Reiki healing um, that I found on Airbnb. She had really good reviews. So I went back and forth as to if I wanted to do it because I was technically supposed to get my massage in a few hours, but I moved it to tomorrow just because like by the time I get back, I don't know. I just think it's not, it's going to conflict and not really line up with what else I want to do. And then I have dinner later too at five at Maple and Ash. I might change it to later though. Only reason I put it at five because it's happy hour and it's a really, and it's a high expensive, a high level expensive, very expensive uh, place because I was being cheap. So um, I don't know, we'll see. So if I want to change it, I'm pretty sure they'll be fine with it. Like it's Wednesday, you know, so I think it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna continue getting ready and we're gonna go back to Sedona to get some soul And you know, the reason why I decided to do this is because um, I did something similar when I was in Guatemala. We um, had a ceremony with a shaman and he communicated with the fire, the fire communicated with him. And I, I'm telling you, like I had never been in the moment as much as I was in that moment. Like I just forgot about everything. I was literally in that moment, you know, like now and nowadays it's hard to be in the moment you know you got so many things coming at you so many data so much data and you know, our phones and just like we're in our head a lot at least i am <laughs> so um yeah i think this will be good for me and it's for my birthday um it's literally at the start of a new chapter so i was like why not i'm gonna just do it so yeah and i already got a, like a whole bunch of texts and i feel loved <laughs> So I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling good. So I'm going to continue getting ready and listen to this Spotify Ratchet Happy Birthday playlist. to show you guys the henna overnight so yeah it started to peel off and so this is how it's looking and i love it usually when i get henna i just kind of let it naturally fall off i don't ever just like really like intentionally take things off i just kind of let it i mean yeah it kind of makes a mess i guess but i mean nothing you could just kind of sweep off the bed or whatever but i don't know but let's say if i was going to an event or something then yeah i probably would like Take it off for sure. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention too, my friend, a oh boy, he was actually the first to text me this morning. Um, like literally on the dot 12 a.m. He was like, oh, I stayed up just to send you well wish his name birthday. And y'all, that was a nice little thing to wake up to because I was asleep by 11.30. Like I didn't even hear my phone go off. I was, I was asleep. So yeah, he cool or whatever. All right, guys, I'm headed out. Let's go. Oh, man, I wish we'd be 
play with that pussy with my hands, we can do it on the floor. Hey guys, so I just got done with the soul resetting Reiki session and it may look like I've been crying because I, I, I have. Um, wow, it was just a really eye-opening experience. Um, she did a lot of vocal healing, of vocal healing, which is beautiful in her own um in spiritual language um a lot of energy analyzation um we were just like down at the bottom of this beautiful creek here and you know it's crazy because if you look up you know there's like there's a two-lane road up here so there's people like steady going back and forth on this highway and there's like a little coffee shop up here so there's so much noise going on but it's like not too much to the point where you can't really zone in on what's going on in that moment because i was definitely in the moment um when she was performing the um the the vocal healing and things like that um yeah she just gave me a lot of clarity at the end um she sat and talked with me for about 15 minutes you know just to talk about any thoughts that came to mind and I told her um and it basically was just kind of focused on you know my stressors now um my triggers and what I'm trying to get clarity on on my life right now on this new chapter I feel like I'm getting emotional about it now but um yeah it really helped I took some notes so um she it was definitely worth it that's all I gotta say it was worth it it was worth coming back out here another two hours so it was definitely worth it but anyway um I think I'm gonna head back now she mentioned um there was this um cafe called living chocolate and they have like pure cacao so I don't know I might go check that out on the way back so but yeah let's get back to Phoenix um yeah and enjoy the rest of my birthday I'm just glad like this was done early. It was done early in the day so that I can just have the rest of the day to have that clarity be cleansed and be um, just like reset. So um, yeah, let's head back. I guess this is Sedona's little bit of Halloween, the little cat. So if you want more sweetener, then yeah, I can have a maple no. syrup, but if you don't, then... So I just got this cacao drink, and y'all, this is like real life cacao cacao. Like I knew it when she was telling me, yeah, it's straight up cacao, so good. This is like a Godiva, like this is like really real, like real cacao. I asked her to cut it a little bit, you know, um, add some more um i asked her to add almond milk and it's definitely a lot better but it's still like straight cacao i think it's because of the small cup too but it's really good like you definitely can't just like surf this down like a starbucks frappuccino or whatever like this is like this is meant to be sipped <laughs> sipped mm. and then i also got um this i put it back here so it can kind of be in the shade um i also got this snickers it's like a snickers perversion of a snickers it was actually pretty good so but it's 
it's too dense like it's just way too sweet like that i could eat over like probably a week and i love sweets but i could probably eat that in like probably like four or five days but anyway so let's head back to phoenix <laughs> Hey y'all, so I'm back at the Airbnb and about to get ready for dinner. Uh, I think it's about like 3.15 now and I should probably leave like around 4.20, 4.30. Um, I just looked at the place on Google, it's called Maple and Ash. I didn't realize it opened up at five, so I'm about to be like right there at five. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good, right? So, yeah, but anyway, let's get ready. Gotta fix this crying ass makeup. Just doesn't get to fix. Let me see how bad it looks. Perfectly with this, so I'm excited. Let's go. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. I know I'm like always the first one to talk about solo dates, but I don't know for some reason I'm nervous right now. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why am I nervous? Probably because. I don't know probably because i'm in a state i'm like not usually in and i am kind of running a little like maybe five minutes late but i got y'all with me so i'm good time at Maple and Ash. Oh my gosh. The waitresses were so nice, so accommodating. Um I connected with the, one of the waitresses, Drea. Um was telling her I'm from California and you know I'm just kind of here on solo and just enjoying myself. She was like yes I still those are the best trips the solo trip. She's done them before too. Y'all I had such a good time. You know it's only 8 10 <laughs> looking at me right now y'all think what it was like one in the morning but anyway um uh my guy friend says uh he asked me if i wanted to get drinks later and i had said yeah but i'm not gonna lie i'm like i'm a little lit right now i'm a little lit i had two drinks at maple and ash the brussels sprouts were so good cake was so good i asked for it with peanut butter sauce oh, so good i love peanut butter it was so much um, and I got the seafood tower, so good. But um, I want to hang out with him, so I put my phone on high just in case I fall asleep, like the notification. So we'll see. And I had two drinks, 
Did I say that already? I think I said that already. And they were so good. I think the name of it was Housewife. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess kind of manifesting that. I don't know. As long as he got money. As long as he's able to provide for us, I guess. But anyway. Um, yeah, they were so good. Um, so, so far, yeah. Today has been a good day. I've enjoyed my birthday. For sure. So much. And, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna just chill for now. Uh, I'm probably gonna Instagram and thank everybody for saying happy birthday to me. And yeah, so I definitely fell asleep and woke up two to three hours later, but I had such a good time at dinner. Shout out to the Libra Gang Gang, and I hope you all enjoyed my birthday vlog in Phoenix. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment, and you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glamazon with three Z's. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the last episode of my Phoenix trip. Talk to you later.